Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Carilan, and it's good to have you along. Today I'm taking a look at a mini Stratocaster by Squire. This one is right up my alley, color-wise, and it says Hello Kitty here, so it's right up my alley. I bought this guitar for my daughters and I thought I'd give it a spin here on the channel uh, while I'm at it. Is it something that pros intermediate players can play with, uh, let's say take it somewhere on a trip and practice with it. Who is it for? You can get a mini strat in Europe for 139 euros new, that would be roughly 150, 60 dollars. I don't know what it goes for, one of those goes for in the States. Um, yeah, so it is very cheap, extremely cheap, but yeah. See, it might even be better than a bullet strat. Who knows? The tuners on this look cheap. It says designed and backed by Fender, uh, crafted in Indonesia. Um, it says Squire on the plates here. This guitar is actually second hand, so it's not new. Um, which, coincidentally, if you're buying a cheap guitar, I recommend you get one second hand because you... Actually, the same goes for more expensive ones as well, because they will have gone through all of their teething problems if you buy them second hand, so you might have fret sprouts on a new guitar, you have to file that down and all that stuff. The neck might bend every which way, uh, especially on cheap guitars. So getting a second hand guitar is a very good idea. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. This looks like a Strat. It doesn't feel like a Strat because it's too small. Um, three single coil pickups, tone, volume, five-way switch, all of that familiar kind of stuff. I'm going to be trying it out with the Marshall Plexi, which seems like complete and utter overkill. But hey, that's fun. So let's get going. Let's just go through the pickups and see everything is working, see how much noise does it make. A bit of that single coil hum. The thing about single coils, you put two single coils on, you get the humbucking effect, although you get a very different sound to a humbucker. Make a mistake, <laughs> repeat the mistake, and people will think that you meant it. Except the key, I think, is you should tell people. <laughs> One thing I would do instantly is uh, lower the middle pickup because that's where I pick, and I find that this one gets in the way. <laughs> Thank you. 
not half bad. Everything seems to be working. Let's just go through the pickups and see. <laughs> up on a hill they call the house on the hill <laughs> Yes, so far so good. Let's see what the tone pot does, Is it, if it's working. It's working better than my bends. Notice that one. Yeah, so one thing I'm noticing is because it's so much smaller, I'm having to, I'm having kind of trouble with my hand positioning. So if I was to buy uh, a guitar uh, as a kind of travel practice guitar, I don't think I would get this. But that's just me. I'm very much into that kind of speed picking thing and I find that hand positioning is really important for that stuff and I'm, I'm having to compensate and it feels really weird. So I'm not sure, given a bit of time, I would get used to it but I'm not sure if it would be beneficial practice. It might. Uh, so that's not a definite no-no but I think I would probably look for something bigger. But then again, uh, traveling, you want something small. This certainly does it. Okay, so uh, let's try a bit of overdriven sounds. Yeah, sounding. I actually like the sound of the neck pickup on this. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. The sky. <laughs> Let's add some more gain because hey, why not? Can you do Ingve Malmsteen on this?
yeah, it's sounding quite good, actually. Um, yeah, let's add more gain, because why not? <laughs> certainly practice on it it gets uh, it, it takes a bit of getting used to but maybe this is a guitar for a person of a smaller persuasion someone who is a bit on the youthful side who hasn't entirely grown up or for someone um, with small hands for instance don't have to be a child to play this um, it can even be for a grown-up person like a travel guitar, something like that. In a way, I mean, I've tried the Affinity Strat. I've tried the Harley Benton 90 euro Stratocaster, or was it 80 euro Strat? Um, I think, and the Bullet Strat. And out of, out of all those, I think this might be my favourite. <laughs> And it's a mini strat. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but honestly, I think I prefer it to the to the ones I've mentioned, the really budget strats that I've tried, even the affinity that I've tried. And now I realize when I'm saying that the people will get so annoyed with me and say, affinities are brilliant guitars. Yes, I remember trying one affinity that I, when I worked in a music store here in uh, Turku, uh, I took it out of the package, tuned it up, set it up, tried it, and thought this is one of the best guitars in the shop. A second package, exactly the same guitar. I put took it out of the package, set it up, all that, tried it, and thought this is horrible. So the affinity that I'm referencing here is the one that I'm actually have actually tried on the channel. So if you happen to have a brilliant affinity, great! The one that I tried wasn't. So I'm comparing this to that. And I'm not comparing it to the ones that I tried ages ago in a music store, because that was ages ago, so I don't remember the details. Uh, but to the guitars that I've reviewed, the Harley Benton $80 one, the Bullet Strat, the Affinity Strat, I actually think I might prefer this one. Um, maybe, I mean, it has certain handicaps, like it's too small for me, really. Uh, this stuff is weird, but somehow this one feels nicest. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, maybe I am exaggerating, but not a lot. There's not a lot in it. So, is this a real guitar? Well, I would say, yes. It's a, it's a small guitar, but it is a real guitar. Um, it definitely beats the Harley Benton, which was terrible. If you haven't seen that review, well, terrible is maybe stretching it. Uh, it wasn't very good. Uh, if you haven't seen that review, you can check it out. Uh, on my channel. This isn't half bad. I mean, 139, it's not a lot. Uh, I bought this second hand. I don't remember what I paid for it. Yeah, just check out uh, Squire Mini Strat. I don't know it, it, how this differs from what's on sale now. The one I saw uh, online that I checked the 139 euro one didn't have this Hello Kitty thing. I don't know if this is different to those so if you buy one of those yeah heads up but then again if you buy something you can always send it back when you buy stuff online tuners don't look brilliant but they don't look terrible either yeah not too bad you can even play some Mingwei on it <laughs> if you want to watch more of my gear reviews there's a playlist here somewhere also there's a playlist with some of my music if you want to check that out hope you liked the video click like if you did subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing Comment, let me know what you thought, if you tried any of these or if you've tried any other mini guitars or any guitars that you think I should try, uh, review on this channel. And join me on Patreon, you get uh, a bunch of exclusives, you get all of my music, you get access to my Guitar Academy and you can even take that for free, you can pay as little or as much as you want, there's a link in the description to that, so check that out. I hope to see you again, I hope you have a nice day, take care, bye!